Guys, what's going on? Quick Axe Max video on the center drive shaft. I want to show you this before I button it up. There will be a main video coming out soon. Goal for that is like a 60 foot drop. I want it to be the biggest RC jump in the world. Is it up for it? Hopefully, guys. That's what I built this thing for. Um, center drive shaft, a couple ways you can do it. One, bearing in the center with the joiner right in the center so it flexes front and back. Not enough flex for me. Uh, number two way I saw you can do it, you can put just a support in here and run a solid shaft. Again, yeah, it's supported, but no flex. You'll probably bend it here and here. Third way, gentleman in the States, he cut his shaft into three pieces, let it just float around in the center. That's probably the best, guys. Um, but I don't like the fact of it just flopping around. At some point, you're going to wear out your bulkheads and your chassis with this shaft just slamming around in here. And I watched his video at the end. He did drive it. It is noisy. You can hear it rattling around. So I did his mod, but I put a center hanger bearing in it. This is off eBay. You want the one that's indented a little bit. You don't want the bearings way out here. Just gives it a little bit more play out here. Anyways, guys, what you're going to have to do is if you have an X-Max and you've bent the shaft a few times, you probably have a couple joiners. If not, you're going to have to go buy two drive shafts to get your two joiners, cut four mil and four mil out of your original shaft. That way it is the stock length. There is play in it. Lots of room to flex. Uh, and then drop your hanger bearing in. Now I cut it so that these kind of float around the center braces here. So if they do get a little sideways and start touching, they're kind of supported and won't go crazy on it. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope this mod helps. I know I can't say this is the strongest mod yet, but when I jump this truck in a few weeks, if it survives, then I can say this is the best mod. But I just want to put this out here before I button the truck up and put it out there. Let you guys decide if you like this mod, get on eBay, order this bearing, get yourself a couple drive shafts, cut it up, try it. Uh, main video, guys. Going to have about 30 upgrades on this thing and a massive jump. I'll give you one more. On the shocks here, I have wrapped electrical tape around it so the spring can move a bit, but it doesn't let the spring rub the anodized coating off my shocks. Still works. But the springs can't touch the shocks and they won't wear the anodized coating off it. So the truck's going to look good for a long time. Hinge pin braces, all painted to match the truck. Those things are bare steel out of the factory. Going to rust on you. All right, guys. More to come in the main video. Like I said, 30, 35 upgrades. But guys, I think this is your best bet for a center drive shaft modification. Massive amount of flex, supported. I think it's the best of both worlds, guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video.